Hello and welcome to Reality TV Cringe. I am Delia here with my daughter-in-law, Beatrice. Hi. This is our uh, actual scheduled time to meet because we were going to do a podcast on Sister Wives Season 4, Episode 6, and also Seeking Sister Wives, which just launched last night. Mm -hmm. Um, And we certainly were prepared to do that. However, uh, we got the news about an hour before we were scheduled to meet that Garrison Brown, he committed suicide. And to say that I am shocked is an understatement. Devastated as a parent. Heartbroken. Heartbroken because... I really love Garrison, like what he was allowed to show us of who he was, especially as he, you know, became an adult and bought his own home and tried to make some space for his mom, take care of his his family and Gabe. And like, I just, I think he was turning into such a wonderful person. Yeah. And I am really so unhappy to hear this news. I'm devastated. I mean, I just like, I can't imagine what this family is going through right now, what Janelle's going through, what Cody's going through. Like, I know we talk mad shit on this podcast because we cover the show and we talk about these characters and all this stuff, but we have to remember that these are real people. And when stuff like this happens, it's like just a wake up call that none of us know what's actually going on in these people's minds and their emotional well-being in their real lives like what we see on tv could be total bullshit and so it's just really fucking devastating and like no matter how much we talk shit about cody i feel bad for him because the last we heard was that he had a horrible relationship with the boys and i just hope that it got rectified before this happened i pray for cody and janelle and the rest of the wives and the family because I would not wish this on my worst enemy. Like, I don't care if we hate Cody Brown. Nobody deserves this. No parent deserves this. My mom texted me this today Mm because she was the one that told me and then I was texting you like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. And my mom's like, this is every parent's worst nightmare. Like every parent's worst nightmare. So I'm just really fucking sad about it. I am too. And um, because of that, we are not going to be recording our regular podcast. Mm -mm. We will be coming back later this week to do VPR and probably Seeking Sister Wives. I think we might be holding off um, a couple of weeks uh, for Sister Wives content because I just need to get my head on right about this, um, what's happening. And in the interim, of course, I think it's really important for us to send good thoughts and prayers and good energy yeah to this family i was actually up on social media when i heard this from you because i wasn't on like i didn't know anything about this and i went to instagram which i don't always do and there were a lot of different people reporting on it and then there were just commenters saying things that I think are just not appropriate. Like no matter how much you dislike people on television and your favorite shows, like you, it's just, I really feel like we need to be more sensitive and thoughtful. Like these are actually real people. And I feel like we've been trying to kind of have this conversation. For example, when we talk about Scandaval and VPR and the actual mental health toll that it took on several of, of the, the characters in that show uh, we've talked about the kids you know not just in this show but the kids the Duggar kids and yeah. we've talked about John and Kate plus eight and those kids and there's a conversation I think that really needs to be had in fact there's consequences I think actually that need to happen for production companies and TLC that that um maybe in the future people will start to discuss it's not for us a couple of raccoons to have a sophisticated conversation about that but at the same time i do believe that you and i were trying to have that conversation yeah as much as we're taking the piss and and we're a comedy podcast like we often advocated for the kids and the and the women and like what's going on here though and why are we showing this on television like we need to be calling some of that stuff out because there are real people on the other side of that camera right but yeah, now's not the time for that conversation. 
uh, we just wanted to maybe create a space for all of our listeners and viewers. Like if you want to drop a comment and, you know, just leave your your thoughts and your good energy and maybe a, just a wish for this family, you can do so. Or if you're, if you're feeling this, because I know a lot of people have lost someone in this way. Yeah. Um, you know, if you want to share that, I mean, we just want to open up the space for you and, and for the love and, and just for the support of all of us in this moment. But ultimately we're just here to say rest in peace, Garrison. Oh, yeah. You were a, good boy you were a fine young man a good brother a good brother a good son a good protector yeah you did your very best that you could do in the situation that you were in and i'm really proud of you and all of the other kids as well and i just pray for you truly do i pray for you and and i pray for gabe too yes (sighs) who found him. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, that's okay. No. I'm just feeling a lot. I'm just like... That's okay. I absolutely pray. Like, I really think we should be praying for Gabe. Yeah. Because he's such a empathic, sweet young man. Mm. I just, I really can't imagine. And I, I think it's gross, like, on social media, how many people are quick to just jump on this train to, like, talk about these kids as if they knew them just to get likes and clout because everybody knows the sister wives universe is blowing up right now. Mm -hmm. Like, and everybody's freaking out about this news, understandably so. But I feel like we all just need to take a moment to remember our humanity and remember, like we keep saying, these are real people. Like these are real lives that are affected by this. We're feeling it emotionally and we don't even know these people. We just Mm -hmm. watch them on TV and we're, we cried about this before Mm -hmm. even recording this. And I just, I don't know. Let's just remember our humanity and be kind on the internet. And we don't need to be talking shit. We don't need to be making any comments about this family. We don't need to be talking about the familiar relationships or any of this other bullshit. Like let them mourn, let them deal with it in peace and in private because grief is hard. And this is absolutely fucking devastating. So we just felt like the need to say something because we cover this show and we talk about it and we've been talking about it for two years and we've been involved in this for a long time, but that's why we need a break. Yeah. We need to just not talk about take it for a, breath. a while. Take a breath and take a break. Yeah. We love each and every one of you so we very do. much. Thank you for sticking with us, for listening and for watching. We will definitely be back. Uh, later and we'll get into all the shows because we love those shows you know that's 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 good vibes we're just trying to have fun um so we'll be back to do that but for right now we felt this was the most appropriate thing to do yeah never forget that we've got nothing but love for you and until next time peace out bye bye guys